my wife would still be laughing at me if she seen me get, grabbing fruit to have for breakfast this morning. My favorite fruit, probably strawberries. Yeah. Yes, like me. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. So this time every year, January, uh, we pull everyone in supervision. We pull safety professionals, uh, quality professionals. We pull them into this seminar just so that we can all get together. That way, if there's something new, new technology, something new in the company that we're doing, we share that with everybody because we want to get the word out that we've got the best team in the country. We absolutely love what we do. Um, I get a little nervous presenting to most congregations, but that one today, those are my people. Each and every one of you individuals sitting in this, in this room is the reason that we can talk about this today. Yeah, that meeting was one of the largest uh, superintendent uh, seminars and had more safety people there than I think we've ever had two for the Ohio Valley. Um, super important. I had the pleasure of going to uh, to spend some time with the, that team there for probably an hour and a half, two hours, just listening and and you know watching them feed off each other and and really uh, was inspiring to me that you know we've got the right team with the right mindset. So I think that's a, that was a really important part uh, of the not just the conference but as the culture continues to evolve. Well, my grandfather started in 1945. My father started in 1965, and I started in 1977. Uh, you know, being from Grayson, Kentucky, Carter County as they call it, they tell us out there, you know, in Carter County, you're not born with a birth certificate, you're born with a Boilermaker book. So it's just kind of in my blood to, to be a Boilermaker. Yeah, and I think that connects him to the folks that work for him now, you know, one to two ranks down as he's been there, he's walked in their shoes and, and lived the job site uh, life and, and can really relate to them on a, on a different level. You guys staying busy? Yeah, I've been. You been? I've been. Kind of slower now? Yeah, that's all right. The last 10% of the job takes me to what, the 90%? <laughs> the truth. All the little bolts and instruments and all that good stuff. Yeah. Takes forever to get that crap done. Oh, yeah. But I think it still pays the same, doesn't it? Oh yeah, don't bother me. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> There was no safety back when I started in 1978. Uh, you know, safety was wouldn't even thought of. You wore safety glasses if you wanted to wear safety glasses. Now we're preaching, you know, got to have your safety glasses on when you come out of the break room for the most part. Uh, but back then there was no safety. Fall protection is a big one for me. Um, I fell 27 feet in 1981. And my father was working about a quarter of a mile away from me. And, you know, he thought I was dead. But every day of my life that I'm working, I'm thinking about things that has happened in the past that I can bring to the table, to instilling in my guys, teaching my guys that are out on our job sites. And you've already load tested all those and they're all yeah, good? I've got them written down right over next door. Okay. Everything, the serial number and the Perfect. Perfect. Good deal. I appreciate what you do. Makes life a whole lot simpler on those guys going out there, doesn't it? <laughs> when I came on in 2007, safety was there. And, and that's just the way that I feel. Safety was there because it had to be there. Now it's there because everybody wants it to be there. You know, it's a culture. It's a core value, it's number one. And we have raised safety through the roof and we just wanna make it that much better.
Yeah, I think we took, you know, over the last two decades, you know, took safety on a journey that is, you know, just ingrained in our culture now. So, yes, we look at safety stats, but that's not, you know, the, the behavior is going to drive the stats. So we focus on the behavior. Back before, probably back before Thanksgiving, late last year, fall of last year, Kyle Morgan, who runs Kiger Creek, he called me up and he said, Calvin, he said, I'd really like for you, after the first of the year, to come in and do a full-blown audit on my job site. You don't get that. I mean, for the most part, we show up, we do an audit, but when you've got a project manager that's calling you and saying, hey, I want to know if there's something wrong on my job site. I want you to come and take a look at it, any resources that you might have. That's what we're looking for with Interfab. These guys go above and beyond of anything that we could possibly ask for them at this facility. I was young, green on the job, didn't know what I was doing. And I don't want anything like that to happen to the people that work for us now. So I can move them in the right direction, teaching, mentoring them, whatever it might be. You know, we're going out and doing safety audits, management safety audits myself, you know, my direct reports, my management team, as well as you know, the safety professionals. And then we do walk arounds at the sites with you know, foremen or apprentices and, and really spending that extra time to identify that mindset and then maybe an obstacle that they might be having just by one-on-one -on -one conversation. So it's not just policies and procedures, it's you know, spending time and really getting to understand uh, the environment, the condition that these folks are working in every day, and then adapting our plans accordingly. Okay, so next up, I want to interview somebody. One of the workers. Okay. Ian Jones. Ian Jones. Where are you from, Ian? Portsmouth, Ohio. Portsmouth? Yep. I'm Calvin Clark, nice safety director with Interpet. Want to tell us a little bit about you? Can I, can I interview? If I have someone that gets hurt, I don't point my finger at the superintendent, don't point my finger at the safety professional. We all fail. Things change constantly, and you have to continue to adapt your safety mindset around that. I think Calvin embodies that thinking ahead thought process and, and, and really being um, a champion of that. There's always going to be safety challenges. Um, you know, our shops are a different safety culture than what our field is, and they were separated so much that we had to bring them together. And I'm proud of where we have came from the field locations to the shops and kind of integrated everything into one. And we've made great strides through the years. Every second, every moment on our job sites, we have to put safety first because we want to see everybody at the end of the day go home just a little tarter, a little more money in their pocket, but they're going home to what we talked about this morning, family. I sleep, eat, and breathe safety. I mean, that's just me. Jacob Snyder used to laugh because I'd be in the office at 4.30 and he'd say, what are you doing in the office at 4.30? You know, you're supposed to come in 7.30, 8 o'clock, not me. I said, I get up, I'm ready to go. I'll put our safety program up against anybody's out there, and that's because of you gentlemen and ladies that are in this room today. I love my job. I love what I do. I love making sure that people are understanding that they are going home safe to their families and that they're getting up the next day and coming back to work, and they know that we care about them. Culture and, and, and safety kind of go hand in hand um, from, it's almost like an organism that, that continues to, to, to grow, but it never stops. And, and it'll, it'll look like something else five years from now, but um, it's still about keeping people not just safe, but in the same or better condition than when they got there. What a year, right? 2022, going down as the best year in the history of Interfab. It was wonderful. You know, we were um, excited, but I also know that 
2022 is behind us and it's a record year, but I got 2023 to look at now. And the challenge is there to be better than we were last year. And that's my goal is to be better than we were last year. Thank you.